so we are aware of uh, uh, new numbers that were reported overnight from China, um, which uh, added an additional 325 cases and 1,290 um, deaths from Wuhan. Um, and this was done in an attempt to leave no case undocumented. And so what they did is they did a review of that and they revised their numbers and those were the numbers that were updated overnight. Um, it is very important to know um, the numbers of people who have died from COVID-19 because this is of public health importance. Um, and it is important that we have the accurate reporting of this. I would anticipate that many countries are gonna be in a similar situation where they, they will have to go back and review records and look to see, did we, did we capture all of them? Um, I've seen a number of reports from media where people have been in, in a number of different countries where people have died outside of a hospital system. And so it will take some time for those individuals to be classified. Um, what we understand is that they've used an existing law of statistics to find these cases. And what they did is they reviewed different databases. And what they have reported is that the discrepancies in these cases uh, were due to a number of factors. Um, first is that the healthcare system in Wuhan um, was overwhelmed um, at one point, and some patients died at home. Um, secondly, is that medical staff were delayed in reporting of these cases because they were focused on providing care for those patients and they didn't fill out the forms in time. Um, next is that um, there were additional locations that were built. And in those, those situations, um, the reporting wasn't done in a timely manner, and so those cases were, were added. Um, and in some situations, the reports weren't filled in completely.